Welcome to the Midmark Multi-Parameter Monitor Quick Start Guide. In this video, you will learn how to begin using your Midmark Multi-Parameter Monitor. We will teach you how to properly turn on the monitor, set up a patient, and set up the parameter accessories. Let's begin by opening the printer compartment. Insert a roll of paper with the paper coming off the bottom of the roll. Pull enough paper from the roll so it hangs over the door when closed. Power on the monitor by pushing in the power button on the left side of the machine. Plug in the Midmark Visualizer USB drive into the USB port. To turn on the pre-procedure checklist, press Settings, select Checklist Setup, and expand the checklist dropdown and select On. Every time a new patient is entered, this checklist will display across the screen, prompting the clinician to check off all the steps. To customize printer settings, press Settings and select Printer Setup. To enter new patient data, press Patient Setup and select Admit Patient. Select OK on the pop-up box. This will clear out the previous patient information prior to admitting a new patient. Next, enter your patient information. Press OK to save the information. To return to the main screen, press X in the upper right corner. If a CO2 module was purchased, it must first be activated in the menu and zero calibration should be done. To activate the module, press Settings, select Module Setup, expand the drop-down option next to CO2, and select On to turn on the module. Press X in the upper right corner and select OK to shut down the monitor. Turn the monitor back on by pressing the power button. Next, gently insert the appropriate size adapter or filter line into the CO2 sensor. Plug the CO2 cable into the CO2 port on the side of the monitor. Allow the sensor to warm up and then start the zero calibration. Press the CO2 waveform and press Start Zero Calibration. The sensor is attached between the endotracheal tube and the breathing circuit. Position the sensor with the logo facing upwards. To turn on the CO2 Sotolime Absorbent Reminder, press the CO2 waveform. Find CO2 Sotolime Absorbent Reminder and press on. To allow for weekly reminders, select yes in the pop-up box. To view the CO2 library and quickly scroll through waveforms, select the history box. Now the accessories can be connected starting with the ECG. Connect the lead wires to the ECG cable by matching the color-coded dots. Slide alligator clips onto the end of the lead wire post. Plug the ECG cable into the ECG port. Now connect alligator clips to your patient by first applying redux gel to the clips or directly to the patient. Remember to place the white lead on the right foreleg, the black lead on the left foreleg, and the red lead on the left rear leg. Our ECG library allows you to quickly scroll through 10 of the most common arrhythmias occurring in patients under anesthesia. To turn on the ECG library, press on the ECG waveform, find ECG catalog, and press on. Press X in the upper right to return to the main screen and select Display Modes to display the ECG catalog. To connect the SpO2 sensor, first plug the sensor wire into the SpO2 cable and close the clear cover. Next, gently slide the sensor pads into the appropriately sized clip. Plug the SpO2 cable into the SpO2 port on the monitor 
and clip the sensor to the patient's tongue. Alternatively, the sensor can be placed on the animal's lip, toe, ear, prepuce, or vulva. To determine the correct cuff size to use to obtain blood pressure readings, measure your patient's limb with the provided cuff selector. Connect the cuff to the blood pressure hose and plug the hose into the NIBP port on the monitor. Place the cuff snugly around the patient's limb. The cuff should be in the same horizontal plane as the patient's heart. Next, open the NIBP menu by pressing the numeric area. Set cuff size using the small setting for cuffs 1 through 5 and large setting for cuffs 8 and 10. The interval setting can be used to take automatic readings at desired time periods. Initiate blood pressure measurement by pressing NIBP start on the touch screen. To turn on the NIBP screening mode, press and hold the screen BP icon. It will turn orange to indicate the screening mode is enabled. Your monitor will automatically take five readings and tossing out the wild card will return an average of the systolic, diastolic, and means. It's important to note that all Midmark monitors utilize adaptive blood pressure, which is the inflation of 30 millimeters of mercury higher than the previous systolic reading. This decreases the time to get readings on awake patients, especially cats. Plug the temperature probe into either the temp one or temp two port on the monitor. The temperature probe may be used in the esophagus or the rectum. Once the procedure is complete, press settings and select USB data export. When complete, the screen will display file export success. Thank you for choosing Midmark as your trusted partner in vital signs monitoring. Please reach out to our clinical support team if you have any questions.